Hello everybody, this is uh, the sharing with you today about time management. This is such an interesting concept because we all struggle with it and we think, can I ever manage my time? It's a question we ask because this is what we do. We're always on. We're always switched on, we're always engaged, we're always active, we're always, because in this world, we actually have the dynamic of 24-7 business. It's on our phones, it's on our tablets, it's on our computers, and it's being driven at us all the time, and we think we should always be on. Um, I had a friend of mine who was a, a colleague in coaching, the coaching world, and he put out a post, and it was an interesting post, and he asked people in, um, over the holiday season, which we've just been um, celebrating in, in um, Australia, and he said, if you're in business, and you are on Facebook, and you're answering emails, why, if you're on holidays? Asking the question, are you always on? Because what this will do to us is will actually create a way in which we will burn out. I wonder if you understand the principle of rest. Um, there is a story in a book, and it tells the story that for six days, somebody did work, did all this great creativity, and then said on the seventh day, I was gonna have a rest, and it would be really good practice for you to do the same. Our bodies are not designed to stay switched on all the time. I know scientists tell us um, a good six to eight hours every night is a way in which we can do life better, and for us as business owners, do business better. I know, I love my rest, and I sleep well, and I do six to eight hours, uh, probably seven to eight hours most nights is my rest. And I wake up in the morning, yeah, had a good sleep, I go to sleep well, and my wife teases me because I have a rhythm about how I go to sleep, one side, the other side, and go to sleep. And it really is um, how I do it every night. I mean, every night, no matter what bed I'm in, anywhere in the world. And I want you to understand is if you stay always on, I'll tell you this again, you are heading for burnout because you were not designed to stay always on. And it is poor time management. You're not doing well with your soul. You're not giving time for yourself to refill your soul and re-energize. You're not giving time to your wife. You're not giving time to your children. You're not giving time for yourself to be renewed and revitalized. Rest is really powerful. Always on is going to damage you mentally, physically, physiologically, psychologically. It is not good for you to be in a state where you always stay on. And business owners seem to stay in this frenzied activity that if I don't stay always on, if I don't stay frenzied, if I don't stay peaked. Um, I was in a business meeting this morning and one of my clients has just gone through a fairly major project. And she was saying, I've done this, this and this. And then on this Monday, after this great exp uh, season of time, I was in a place where I was feeling really depressed. And I simply said to her, great, that is absolutely normal. What we don't understand is, is when we live in a frenzied space where we're working constantly, and sometimes we have to do that a season of time, our body needs to reset. So we live out of adrenaline all the time, it is really unhealthy and we've got adrenaline pumping through our system. We don't let the natural physiolo physiology of our body to actually do what it should do. And so um, I've done this with, because I also coach church leaders. And this is what happens for church leaders. On Monday, they sign their letters of resignation because after Sunday, it hasn't worked. People weren't there, money didn't come in, lots of things go wrong. Pastors, church ministers often feel quite depressed because what they're doing is all week they are preparing themselves for the Sunday special. Everything culminates there. If it doesn't go well, they really struggle and, and 
the serotonins and the adrenaline and all the buildup, oftentimes that's what happens. And this lady, and I said to her, that is absolutely normal and absolutely right what is happening for you and what your body is saying to you, let me reset, let me get things back into an even equilibrium because living a frenzied life is unhealthy and you're going to be ineffective. And she said, oh, I said, and it's going to happen to you again because she does like living in that time where a big project, she works really hard. I said, it's going to happen to you again. If you understand that, it means when that's happening, ah, I recognize that. This is what's happening. My body is telling me reset. Let it reset, give it time, give it rest, eat good food, um, take a walk, do all those kind of dynamics because living a frenzied life is incredibly unhealthy and we wonder why we struggle with our health, our vitality, our relationships, our interpersonal relationships, why at times where we indicate to our staff that they're not doing their job because we're living out of the wrong dynamic of our world and of our space. So this is what we often say when we're doing this kind of dynamic is I am busy. People say to you, how are you doing? Oh, just really busy. It's not a good statement to be making about yourself, about your world, about your time, because being busy is unhealthy. We need to have activities. We need to break those activities up. And I remember talking to a lady once about, as I was coaching her, how to do best and be effective. And this was what we worked out together, that she was really good at doing about 45 minutes of work, up to 90 minutes of work, and then she needed to stop, get away from the desk, and go and do something entirely different to kind of reset the way she worked. And once she realized that and gave herself permission to work out how her body clock worked, how her physiological worked, how her mind worked, she actually became incredibly more efficient and effective and she loved it because she was giving herself permission to work hard and then stop. It was read a book, have a coffee, go for a walk, go and chill, maybe play on Facebook, whatever it might be that she did. And she did those things, but she gave herself permission. And then she would come back and maybe do a 15 minute work dynamic or a 45 minute work dynamic. And she found that that was a great way rather than living frenzied, because here's what we do to ourselves when we do that. We actually judge ourselves to be ineffective and inefficient and we condemn ourselves as not rising to this standard that we've set that if we don't do this, we're not gonna make it and we're not good people. And, we're, we're, and we judge ourselves and we pull ourselves down. So we have this internal conversation saying, you are not good the way you are. I don't like what I see. I don't like what I'm hearing. I don't like what I'm doing. And all of those things are really quite unhealthy because remember this, if you haven't heard me say this before, the speech nerve is the central nerve to the whole nervous system. And that's why we need to be affirming ourselves, telling good stories, lifting our spirit because we actually send huge dynamics to the whole body that we are, to our mind, our spirit, our soul, our energy, our physiology, our psychology, and we actually lift ourselves by being dynamic people who are affirming. So what I, don't I want you to do? Don't be always on. Don't live a frenzied life. Don't uh, live an imbalanced way, but think about the dynamics about rest, renewal, refreshing, stopping, um, being wise with what you're actually doing with who you are, working out the best times that you are most effective in how you work. And you'll find when you begin to refresh those settings and giving yourself permission to do the work the way you best work, I tell you what, it is incredibly liberating. I did this with one client. He moved from having to work till one and two in the morning to get all his work done so now he works nine to five and he's not working every minute of every day. And it really is dynamic to see the difference it's made to him and the difference it's made to see his business grow. And he's so excited about that for him.